Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut. Got one for you today. It's fresh out on VOD this week. And the film is a crime thriller called Cult Killer. And we get the story of Casey Holt, who is an up and coming PI. She's only been doing it for a few years. She was taken under the wing by her mentor, who is showing her the ropes and getting her on the straight and narrow, getting her sober and getting her, you know, to get her PI license and help her be a better investigator. Well, when something nasty happens to her mentor, she ends up picking up the case her mentor was looking into, and she discovers a deep, dark secret involving a family legacy a group of individuals who uh, have a really, really dark secret. And this secret ends up bringing up inner demons uh, that Cassie herself has been battling her whole life due to a very uh, traumatic childhood. And we see how all of this comes to the surface as Cassie tries to solve uh, the case of uh, this murder in a cult killer. Director John Keyes gives us the script written uh, by Charles Burnley. That's dark and gritty, this kind of neo-noir story uh, that I loved. And it, it was the way it was written, but really what helps make this film is the performances by all involved. Now, Alice Eve plays Cassie Holt. You might recognize her from Star Trek Into Darkness, as well as many other roles. And here, I loved this character of how she was a tough character who was still vulnerable and dealing with this uh, traumatic experience she suffered uh, <laughs> through most of her childhood and you feel all of that you feel those layers you feel you you see her struggle at times and try to break away her personal feelings and history from her case in order to try to focus on that and all that comes to you know it comes through with her performance and she just gets to be a badass yet as well so it's great how she plays this multi-layered character of Cassie Holt and really was a sympathetic character you could get behind now her a uh, mentor is played by an Antonio Banderas, who is just fantastic in here too. I loved the chemistry between these two. Got a little worried that we were only going to see him in the beginning of the film, but luckily we get to see him in flashbacks throughout as he's giving advice and, and helping Cassie out. And I just loved the Antonio Banderas character. And I loved uh, him, the character he played, and his chemistry with Alice, though. They they really mesh well together and, and had a great relationship that they kept, you know, on a friend mentor uh mentee uh relationship which i also appreciate quite a bit where they could have gone other ways with it paul reed plays rory mcmahon he's the cop that ends up partnering uh with cassie on this investigation loved him in here as well he, he did a little more of a standard cop uh partner uh but really was great in here to help be that guy to help uh, Cassie uh, get through this investigation and, and give her the history and the ropes of the area where she's uh, looking into this crime. Now, uh, Victor Harrison is played by Matthew Tompkins, who is playing such a wonderfully villainous lawyer. This guy is just scummy. You just you just don't like him, but you're not supposed to. And I love that. I loved how he performed this guy who really you're not throughout the whole film. This is not a charismatic individual by any means. And then when you learn more about him, you just dislike him even further. And you could tell that Matthew really leans into that uh, darkness of this character. Uh, Kim DeLonghi uh, plays Wallace. We saw her in The Flood. Loved that character. I'd love to see a spinoff with her character. She was she was great. This, this information gatherer who worked for the lawyer and yeah, like as you get the idea, everybody involved is good in here. I, I'm giving a shout out to so many people because it's the performances that really drive this crime thriller, this dark story that we do have elements that we've seen before, but thanks to these performances, they just keep you engrossed in it along with the direction of the movie, which keeps things moving by giving us the flashbacks and the present day events and mixing them back and forth. Also just gives you that history and keeps things uh, keeps you invested so you're just not following the main current events and I thought that was an interesting approach to it. Uh, Shelly Henning uh, plays uh, Jamie Douglas. Oh she was just this was a really fun character who you're gonna feel conflicted about for sure. Now uh, we saw Shelly Henning in Unfriended and the Teen Wolf series and many other things and she is this really 
I, it, it, the, the tough part with her character, I just don't, you, you feel torn with how you feel about her, just like Cassie feels torn, especially with what Jamie does earlier in the film. And you, you feel that, the tension, but also you're like, yeah, you know, I almost want to get behind what you're doing. I can get behind what you're doing, not almost, but at the same time, there's this one thing you did. And then uh, we've got to mention Olwyn uh, Fourier, who uh, she played, you know, in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the Netflix one, Zone 414, we saw her in, we saw her in Northman, very talented individual, and she Oh, her character. I did not expect her to go where they do with her. And it's played beautifully and creepily and makes your just your, your hair stand on end and just, yeah. So this is a very character-driven piece that while uh, the plot itself may feel a little bit familiar for the type of story it is, it's the fact of the way these characters are portrayed as well as the direction of them and the way the story story is put together that I think will keep you interested throughout Cult Killer and may surprise you at the end a bit with how it comes all to a conclusion. So thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble. I just, I was very impressed by this film. It surprised me in a number of levels. And I think when you watch it, it'll surprise you as well. So thank you so much for listening. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub.